Hi everybody, welcome to Me Paintings. I'm Veronica Me, and I'm very happy to see you here today. I prepared another rainbow tutorial for you. I'll be doing a double swipe method and for that I'll be using these nine colors. It's Indian Yellow, Cadmium Deep Red, Mauve, Permanent Violet, Cerulean Blue, Turquoise, Baby Turquoise, this is called Yellowish Green and Viridian green. And this is what I did with my colors. I mix them with pouring medium. I make my own pouring medium from glue and water. This is the consistency, if you can see it, like slightly whipped cream. It shouldn't be too thick and it shouldn't be too thin, just the right consistency. And for my pouring medium I use this type of glue. It's PVA glue, which my children use in school. And you can actually create loads of pouring medium from this PVA glue. I mixed 60% of PVA glue and 40% of water. That creates my pouring medium. And then I mixed my pouring medium with acrylics in ratio 1 to 1. So one part of acrylic, acrylic color, one part of pouring medium. And if you've got different brands, you'll need to figure out the consistency because sometimes it's thick sometimes it's thin the key is to have the right consistency of your colors i also put two drops of silicone oil in each color so put one two and then mix it up a little bit not too much and that's perfect that's prepared for your pour as base i'm using this mixture of titanium white and also pouring medium so this is mix of white and pouring medium in ratio 30 percent of titanium white and 70 percent of pouring medium this is a little bit thinner than the rest of my colors i'm going to pour it on my canvas everywhere my canvas is size 40 times 40 centimeters So that's done and now I can start pouring my colors. I start with orange and then go and then make another puddles. then I continue with red so red in my orange or Indian yellow and then I also put red in here And here comes the fun part. I'm going to swipe all these colors with my white. It is the same mixture, mixture which I used for my base color. I only added two drops of silicone oil in my white. So let's pour my white down here. Like this. And I've got this piece of plastic which is between thick and thin and I'm gonna swipe all these colors from down here up there ready steady go oh I can see some cells growing but this is not the finish I'm going to move it down a little bit. And I'm 
going to make another swipe. Now all these colors should get mixed very nicely. And I've got a bigger piece of plastic, which is just the right size for my canvas. And I'm going to make another swipe from right to left. And all these beautiful colors. I love that. That's so cool. Some small cells appeared, but I'm going to use my heat gun because I want to create bigger cells, just very thin cells with loads of colors. So I'm going to use my heat gun, cheap one from Lidl. I think these cells will grow even into bigger cells and they will create beautiful rainbow art which I'd like to embellish with something special but I'm going to show you that later on. Now I need to wait till this gets dry for about 4 days, 4-5 or five days and then I'm going to show you what to do next. Hello, welcome back. So my rainbow pour is dry and I love all these range of colors. I like when I make a double swipe and it creates such a beautiful range of colors. Now I would like to embellish it with a very easy method, just using masking tape and black acrylic color and it, it will turn it into beautiful 3D piece but it's super easy, you can do that and it doesn't take that much time. So I just need to decide where to put my lines. I would like to create a layered acrylic pour. So I'll just take my masking tape and put it where I want. Maybe one could be here. it's time for shading. I put a little bit of that black acrylic color here. It's this Mars black and I'm going to put my brush in it. It's size 14 but you can use whatever brush is your favorite. I will tap a little bit on this tape and then I start shading my pore like this. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to spread it all down there and I can put my brush in water as well and blend my black. So I put it in water and nicely blend it so it creates beautiful shade. like that and now I'm going to create shades all around here and show you the finished result. So here comes the moment of truth 
And that's the most exciting part for me, taking these tapes off. And this is how it looks with horizontal lines and now I'd like to paint some vertical lines as well and for that again I'll use my masking tape so I just need to decide where to go where should I put them And now the shading part again, I put my brush in a little bit of black, like this, and make shades. You have to be careful around these edges, don't go over them, so just like this. Let's see, this is my most favorite part. That looks beautiful. Oh. And that looks so cool, like it's pretty, it's layered on the top of each other. Now I'm going to paint the rest of them and show you the finished result. And this is the result of my 3D acrylic pour. I love how 3D that looks. Look at that. That's so cool. I love this method because it allows you to create something very special on your pour. And it, it's quite easy. You can do that. You only need masking tape and black acrylic color and create a unique layered acrylic pour. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because it helps a lot or share it with your friends. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you again for watching my special tutorial and I wish you all the best in new year. See you soon. Bye.